this is somewhere going to go wrong because beneath the layers of our civility lies that primitive brute that is going to go over the line. And often the, these positions in these schools are actually people that want to do this sort of thing. They have no power in their own lives, but they have power over these kids. And they take that and they use it, and it becomes abuse. There are not enough background checks. There are not enough screening done on these individuals. And this uh, is something that, that shouldn't be allowed because of just the fact that they will take it too far at some point. Washington, D.C. this week to support Representative Carolyn McCarthy's House Bill 3027, which will abolish corporal punishment in all U.S. schools. There are currently 19 states that still allow this child abuse in the schools. So they're leaving big bruises on children's buttocks. Children are having to go to hospitals. They may even begin rooms. to enjoy it. that still uses corporal punishment. Protesters say this method is outdated and they want change. We in Mississippi are among the last remaining schools that still use this ineffective, uh, brutal practice. And I don't want to be, when I get out there next year to become a teacher, you better not put a paddle on my hand because you are insulting me as a person. The organization plans to make several stops in the metro area this weekend. Hi, I'm Paula Flo, Executive Director of The Hitting Stops Here, a campaign for teaching kindness and respect in schools everywhere. You could learn about the work that we're doing in USA schools for having this maltreatment, this old school 
irresponsible behavior, male educators having the lawful right to take a wooden board and strike it on the buttocks of a developing human being, female or male. And anybody can look at this and see the inappropriateness of this type of discipline in USA schools. It's still allowed in 19 states, and the Hitting Stops here has been working on having a U.S. federal bill passed into law for ending this type of outdated and humiliating, shameful National March Day on November 19th. That's a Monday, and it will be held in Washington, D.C. And it's because our U.S. Education Committee member, Chairman John Klein, is refraining from signing a bill. The primary targets of this form of abuse are children of color, black and brown children, poor whites, children having special needs, particularly those having autism. With the stroke of a pen, U.S. Education Committee member can end at last sanctioned USA school beatings throughout the U.S. and its territories. The hitting stops here along with other supporters of HR 3027 will be holding a number of awareness activism events on Capitol Hill. As a matter of fact, we will be staging a candlelight vigil for the U.S. school children attending schools in the 19 states where taking a wooden board to strike them on their buttocks is still sanctioned. Something as hard as this, you parents will be able to pick up leaflets and free booklets. This booklet is called Plain Talk About Spanking by Mr. Jordan Ryak, Executive Director of Parents and Teachers Against Violence in Education. Learn more if you go to our website, in the left column, you scroll down and you will see our link to YouTube. And our channel has about 150 YouTubes already posted for having parents, educators, and all concerned citizens nationally and throughout the world learn about the harm caused by school corporal punishment as it is the lead for it occurring in our homes, group homes, residential you may find a child, even in Walmart. See, this is a made up one out of cardboard and, uh, and paper bag. This is what we're asking people to please make your own wooden board and bring your own sign and come out there and say this is unacceptable for any American school children. We all know it's unacceptable at the school of any U.S. president. I urge you to go visit the website, thehittingstopshere.com and click on our photograph. You'll see a photograph of Mark Echo and I, the very one you're looking at, and it will open up right to his website. Once again, unlimitedjustice.com. There it is. You can learn more also by visiting our Olelo Television archives, linked to our website homepage. Again, thehittingstopshere.com. And if you scroll down just a little from the top, you'll see a purple icon that says Olelo. And if you click on that, it will open up to the archives entitled American Safe Pass. That's the name of our television series that comes on Wednesdays and Thursdays on the island of Oahu. And you can learn a lot about what's going on in American schools and what you can do to help have safe USA schools throughout the US and territories. And as beautiful an island as Oahu is, it's sad to say there is a lot of school abuse, restraints and seclusion, uh, all sorts of things. And we want this to come to an end. And it must start in our American schools, where it is done in full view of the American people, of our American school children, their classmates. And it is time for this to be put behind us so that every child in America may go to school without the fear of being hit.